bedrock. The upcoming major upgrade to the Optimism Network is right around the corner. And believe me when I tell you, this is the most important thing to happen to this L2 since its inception. Not only will Bedrock make Optimism the most efficient L2 in terms of transaction fees, it sets the stage for what Optimism is calling a Cambrian explosion of layer twos. And if things work out as planned, we could see tens of L2s in the near future that are all accruing value back to Optimism. But I'll get into that later. Anticipation around the launch of Bedrock is one reason why the price of the OP token has tripled in the last few weeks. But what exactly is Bedrock? In this video, I'm going to walk you through what Bedrock is, why it's a paradigm shift for L2s, and the major impact it could have on Optimism going forward. So real quick, if you don't know what Optimism is, it's a layer two network built on top of Ethereum with an incredibly ambitious economic model, which I talk about in a previous video. Bedrock is a major upgrade to this layer two network. It's a complete overhaul of the protocol's code that unlock a lot of major improvements to Optimism. The first improvement that's immediately noticeable is a large reduction in transaction fees. The Bedrock upgrade is doing a number of things that should make the fees on Optimism best in class for layer twos. They are achieving this by doing a number of creative things around batching and compression. First, transactions on Bedrock are batched into groups called sequencer batches. These sequencer batches are further put into groups called channels, which is the data that can actually be compressed and submitted to Ethereum. But the channels are actually submitted to Ethereum using something called channel frames, which are independent chunks of this channel data. Because the ordering of these channel frames is already established, these channel frames can be submitted in parallel to Ethereum, which increases the overall efficiency. And speaking of fees, Bedrock is also implementing EIP-1559, which should reduce the variance of transaction costs and improve the user experience. With Bedrock, deposits into Optimism will now be confirmed in as little as three minutes, as opposed to the previous 10 minutes. While seven minutes may not seem like a huge difference, that's three times faster than it is right now, and it's a huge leap forward for users that are trying to get started with Optimism. One of the biggest engineering accomplishments of Bedrock is the sheer amount of code that it reuses from Ethereum. More specifically, Bedrock was built to have a minimal difference from Go Ethereum, or Geth, which is the biggest Ethereum execution client. Optimism's version, OP Geth, was built as a fork of Geth and has less than 2,000 lines of code difference, which in engineering terms means that it really is a beautiful and elegant piece of software. Because Geth has already been battle tested for eight years on Ethereum, writing code with a minimal difference to Geth is a great way to increase security and decrease the attack surface for the Optimism network. The other major benefit of using Geth leads into another design principle of the Bedrock upgrade. Ethereum equivalents. While it's impossible for everything to be exactly the same, Optimism has done a better job than any other L2 of making development on its network as similar to Ethereum as possible. Now that the Optimism protocol is reusing a bunch of Ethereum's execution code, any developers that are developing on Ethereum will find it easy to make the switch to Optimism on both the smart contract and the protocol layers. This is extremely important because the Ethereum developer community is the biggest in all of crypto. And as users shift to L2s, the L2 with the most talented developers is likely to create the best and most valuable ecosystem for these users. Any builders with experience with Ethereum on the protocol level will find it much easier to use Optimism's OP stack to build their own layer two network. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. In my opinion, the Bedrock Upgrade's most important feature is modularity. The OP Labs team has built Bedrock to be like a bunch of Lego blocks, where individual pieces like the execution, consensus, and settlement layers can all be switched out. For one, this modularity makes it easier to upgrade the protocol. Many people have been arguing that zero-knowledge rollups are superior to optimistic rollups like Optimism. But because of Bedrock's modularity, Optimism would be able to switch to zero-knowledge proofs fairly easily as soon as the technology is proven out. But even more important from this modularity is the OP stack, the Cambrian explosion of L2s that I mentioned. All of this Bedrock code is open source, which means that soon, 
developers would be able to use it to deploy their own layer two networks. They can mix and match these Lego blocks from the community, or they could build their own layer blocks to create their own custom experimental blockchains. Some developers have already experimented with this, switching out the entire execution layer of Optimism with a version of Minecraft called OPCraft. The entire game was run using the OP stack on the backend. But you may be wondering why this is actually good for Optimism. Wouldn't this just mean more competition from other L2s using their technology? The secret sauce comes in the form of Optimism's sequencer. The sequencer is the part of the protocol that batches and submits transactions to Ethereum. Optimism Sequencer actually generates revenue for Optimism as part of this process. If other builders decide to create their own blockchains using Optimism's OP stack, they may also decide to use Optimism's ready-to-use sequencer. The more networks that do this, the more value ends up accruing to Optimism and its retroactive public goods funding. This retroactive public goods funding goes back into improving the Optimism ecosystem making the OP stack better, and boosting this entire network of L2s. While for now, the Bedrock upgrade is a standalone implementation of this OP stack, it sets the stage for the release of the OP stack as a whole so that developers can build their own L2s in the future. This is what I love about Optimism. Everything about the network is built as a positive feedback loop to make the ecosystem better and better. 